So our main news this morning, Donald Trump promises to make America great again as he prepares to become the 45th president of the United States later today. Yes, in just under 11 hours, Mr. Trump, businessman, reality star and possibly, I think probably the most controversial <laughs> candidate ever, he will be taking charge of the most powerful job in the world. We'll be getting the latest from our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford on the many protests that are planned. First though, let's get the order of the day from Kate. Morning to you, Kate. Pretty big day ahead for Mr. Trump, really, isn't it? pretty big. It feels as though absolutely no one is asleep in Washington tonight. You cannot move on the streets for people in spangly dresses and black tie. There are so many inauguration, pre-inauguration parties going on, including one that Nigel Farage is hosting. I was just chatting to someone who's been to that. A lot of fun and games have been happening about that. We'll find out more about that, I'm sure, a little bit later on. But I've got a feeling that when the sun comes up over that Capitol building, it'll all suddenly get a lot more serious. So Donald Trump is going to put his hands on two Bibles. One his mum gave him back in 1955 when he graduated from primary school, and one that was Abraham Lincoln's. And he's going to swear the oath of office, become leader of the free world, commander in chief of 1.5 military personnel, and president of 318 million people. So, yes, indeed, a pretty big day ahead.